This is T-Bear. He's been on the team for 38 years now. It's a huge tradition for us. It's definitely our longest tradition and our the most well-known. We toss him in the air before the start of every race, and that's been going since the very start uh, in 1978. I'm Pete Farwell, uh, Williams class of 1973. I came out here in 1978 to start coaching cross country. In 1978, the bear arrived the uh, uh, road race where we took a lot of the runners and a fellow named Gordon Coates, class of 82, was a freshman then. September 1978. I had just been at Williams for a few weeks. Several of us from the cross country team, just for fun, ran a fall foliage road race in North Adams. Afterwards, there was a table full of raffle prizes and my number was drawn. The bear would not have been my first choice, but my teammates started chanting, Take the bear! Take the bear! So I did. And somehow it soon became our team mascot. When I was running here, there was no bear, only purple cows, and uh, we cheered for them. But now the cross-country team has the bear. Nobody else at Williams does. They wonder why we have it. It does not eat purple cows. And they throw him in the air before every race, chanting bear, bear, bear. And uh, when he was first thrown in 1978, the team won a meet that they weren't supposed to, so the team then found that this was a pretty good luck omen and they've kept the bear at a mascot ever since. Very quickly other teams realized that the bear was really serving the team well here at Williams and it brought them some victories so those teams tried to capture the bear and have had over the years many successes in doing so. The first time the bear was taken at Franklin Park in Boston, MIT captured it and uh, eventually came and showed it at another meet and they had it put on a tee on the bear, much like this tee, which our Williams team created a shirt for in uh, absentia of the bear. On the back of the t-shirt, uh, we had this phone number of the president's house at Williams for anybody who found the bear to call and let the highest authority we could find in Williamstown know about this egregious offense. Every team that tries to steal it generally puts something on it. You can see the women's team put a patch on it from last year. The big M on top is from Middlebury a few years back. Sports bra is from Amherst. A little bobcat here is from Bates. Bear inside him is from Bowdoin. A jumbo on the side of his head here. That's a pretty recent one. Got some Amherst College piercings on his ear. More Bates. Vlad squad. I still have yet to figure out what that means. More tufts down here. This is Con College. Uh, track club here. This is making fun of some sort of rash that people got at an ESCAC race one year. So he's been marked a lot. Oh, and this band has been here for a while. This is the Amherst. He used to have a trunk. He had a trunk at one point, but he, he's in rough shape now. I mean, he's really old. This fabric is original. His neck has been sewed up countless times. He's been beheaded before, <laughs> but he's, uh, he's still part of the team and we'll keep him going as long as we can. The bear has been uh, all over the United States. When teams have captured him, they've sometimes taken him home over their summer vacation. So have some of our team captains. So he's been to the West Coast. He's been to the South, the Northeast. He's been on many campuses when he's been uh, captured there. He's been buried in a garbage can at, when they were trying to hide him in many van trunks and uh, all kinds of places. He's been beheaded. He's been disemboweled. Uh, somehow has survived miraculously for 38 years and is going strong this year, taking him to Louisville uh, this week for the Nationals.